Hey, this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn, and I'm going to show y'all. Uh, this is a little onesie by Carter's. This is a size newborn. Excuse me for jewels, not jewels. Crispy crying in the background. I paid one fifty for this onesie, and I for this project you will need a seam ripper, some elastic threads, needles needle threader scissors tape measure and what i'm going to do i'm going to be um, documenting in different parts on how i turn this onesie into an outfit for a little either canela or wallow but you could turn what you could do is start and turn it inside out and you take your seam ripper And I'll show you how you do this. Now I'm not going to do everything on camera. Because it will make the video entirely too long. But I'm going to just show you how to get started. And I will show you all in the middle of the thing. And when I finish. And what you want to do. Is start going around the threads. And see this here, and it, and it start popping the thread and loosening up the parts. <laughs> Oops, I don't even think I'm showing it. No, hold up. You take this little loop. Oh, wait a minute. And you get go through the thread. I don't know if you can see that or not. Well, let me focus. See how you do that? And you just rip the thread that way. And you take all the pieces apart. Then you'll cut your pattern out of this once you lay out the fabric. But I went to once my job and I found this one with some tiny prints on it. And I'm going to try to recreate something else for Canela. So stay tuned and we will come back. I have. I want to show y'all another thing two different ways you can do this thing you take your regular wax paper and you cut it in half where you draw on your wax paper and you make your patterns and like I this a dress a little hat and this the little diaper bottom but I'm not doing that today but I just wanted to show how you can make patterns out of wax paper and you can sew there and I did take this onesie apart, as you can see. Um, and as you can see, I didn't even cut a straight edge. But once I, because I just freehand in this one here. And that's another thing that I like to do. Because when you flip it over, hold on to me, and snap it. Where I'm stitching that by hand, you can't tell that let me see something oh yeah right here lord this thing here you can't tell that it's not machine so and so what i'm and i took the arms off and these the arms right here to go to this onesie and these arms will make her appear leg warmers i just cut it straight down the middle and i'm gonna do some leg warmers but this one here I actually put Canela in here. I notch where I need her legs to be. And then I just cut on this side because I'm just freehanding this one here. But I'm going to show you the stitch that I'm doing. And like I said, because I've done this from the time I've been a little girl. And you know, I... let me put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing for one. Tag still attached to the thing. And like I said, this was just a a dollar fifty onesie from whoops got it upside down from once upon a child they a dollar fifty for one or you get ten for ten dollars so for ten dollars and you got a micro preemie you can make your baby tan outfits for ten dollars and everybody know that these outfits I know for Canela outfits I spend anywhere from probably approximately ten dollars to fifty dollars 
her outfit. So, and the, the ones I'm saying $10 are mostly like the gently used ones that I have purchased secondhand from somebody on Insta Instagram. And then even those two cost more. But the stitch that I'm using, I'm trying to do it from this side, but I might need to come on the other side. Hold up. Let me see if I can do it from here. Yeah, you can see it from here. And what I do, I make a loop. And then I do a little stitch like that. Wait a minute, is this on top? Yeah. And I bring it through the loop. Oops. Through the loop. Got the thread. And I, do, and I always double my thread. Yeah. And I'll do that again. But I'm like I say, I'm not going to. And I do everything. And I just go right back to that same one. I'm back through the middle. So then it looks like a, a continuous track. So when you go to flip it over. Hold up. See, you can tell my stitching on this side versus the stole stitch on that side. You see what I'm saying? But that's why, and I do a closed stitch. But anyway, I'll come when I come back. This here should. I'll, I'll probably come back on and show how I do the leg warmers and add sleeves and everything like that. If not, I'll just talk my way through because it's late at night. And this, due to the fact that I'm a little worried on coffee, I'm just sitting up making Canela outfit overnight. Okay. Okay, this is the final look of Little Willow's outfit. This is the back. And that is the front. And her little socks. Cause I was going to do leg warmers, and then I said, you know, let me see if I can sit Willow up here where she can sit down and still be in frame. What I did, the sleeve that was on that onesie, I cut the sleeve. Remember, I took the uh, the sleeves off, and what I did, I measured her leg. Cause I was going to do her leg warmers. And I think I cut it off to about here. Take half of the sleeve and cut it off. Let me see. Yep, that's about half of the sleeve. And I folded it in half. And I did the length and I cut it here. Then I take the half mark and then you split it down the half. And then you... S Let me see if I can turn it inside out. <laughs> Course. My cold is doing good, but I swear I can't get rid of the cough and the sniffles. Sniffles. But, and what I did, by hand, I just stitch like a U. But once you cut it in half, you just, you know, you got the stitching already on one side. And all you gotta do is stitch down one side. You turn it back. And if you don't want to do socks or low boots like I did, you just sew down the side, and then you can do a leg warmer. Because I was going to do the leg warmer, but I was like, you know what? The knee-high socks are in. And you know I just ordered a lot for my other dolls with the bow on the side. And you could buy the little tiny bowls and put on the side if you want to. And this is how I made her little socks. Now, I don't... Hold up. Let me pull her out for a second to put them on her. And Willow is the Sawyer kit that I reborn myself. And I don't have her body weighted down or nothing like that. I just put a little cotton thing because I was still going to let Willow grow some hair because I finally found her here. And I was going to do her some hair. But Canella got a white onesie that she got from... Um, what you gonna call it? 
Wooby baby. So I'm gonna take this other sleeve and make Canela either some boots just like that. But really, as long enough, I can do Canela a pair of boots like hers. And what you do, you take the rub side up here on the top that's already trimmed. That's the top of the socks. And you just cut it down the middle and make some boots. And see, Canela can wear these boots with the white onesie from Wooby Babies. Now, what did I do with that? Um, that's another piece I made. Oh, now see, this is the back of the, the onesie, and I kept the tag on, and it still says newborn, and remind you, I paid $150 for this whole onesie, it's a Cardis onesie, from once upon a child, and I cut it up, and I called myself making a little bib, but I don't have no snaps or nothing like that on it, so I just could do it like this here, tie it up around with a little neck. Either Willow or Canela can use this bib. And there they got a little, oops, I tied it too tight. But you get the eye, you get the drift of the little bib to go with the outfit. Now, and this is a little scrap piece that I had from the front of the shirt. So what I'm going to do is take this same piece and I am going to do which I might give Willow this one and give Canela that one since Willow is an inch smaller than Canela. And I'm going to do like the little V handkerchief um, bib and a pair of socks and leg warmers out the scrap. And Canela can wear this with her white onesie. So every piece of this onesie will be served, you know, redone to have an outfit. So I took one, what was, let me see, what was the size newborn? I took one newborn outfit, I mean onesie, and made this outfit for um, this baby here. And what I did, this piece right here, the sleeve that I had detached, because what I did, I took a seam ripper member, and I took the whole onesie apart. And actually, the sleeve, the top of that sleeve there, what's make the hairband. Because I actually had had it. Let me take this hairband off. I actually had had it on her like this here. Cause I was going to do her like the little hat. With the knot on it. So I can either do a hat with a knot or something like that. Or and, um, a bug for Canela. Or I can do the... um. And like I said, I just did the bent tied, you know, bend, not bend, you know, folding it, the edges in. Put a little knot on the front. And bam, she had a little, a little headband. But I just want to show y'all how you can, and I did everything with a regular needle and thread and nothing professional. And here is the, and you got the snaps on the bottom. And I showed y'all another clip, and I'm going to put all the clip pieces together. And this is Little Willow, smiling happy. And see, that's the thing. I have seen a lot of people make this kit. And they had it bald and dress it up bald-headed. And then when they put the hair on it, I wasn't, I wasn't crazy about it. But I honestly do like Willow with a bald head. I mean, when I tell you I really do like this kid bald headed, I really do like it bald headed. I think she's a cute bald head baby. But uh, anyway, I been me that, and I just wanted to come on because I did it the whole thing in one night. But and I was putting pieces and pieces, but I got sick shortly after I had made this stuff. So finally coming around, put the last piece on, showing y'all the finished product. And here you have it, how I turned. A newborn onesie to make a micro preemie outfit. And I hope y'all get the drift as, as how I've been doing. Because I couldn't videotape every piece step by step. But, um, I just wanted to do that. You know. And even though these, um, preemie, these are silicone pacifiers, I wonder... Well, about a, let me see if this will pacify it. Oh no, she got her mouth too short for that. I wonder if the lady can make me mine with just a little piece of stem for Willow. But that would look cute on Willow's face, I think. 
But anyway, that's Vanilla One. Vanilla, get your passy back. And Vanilla getting off sick, getting crunk with me because I took her pacifier from me, Willie. And see, when I put um, Reba on the other day, her below um, sleeper sands and top of Reba could be hot. And I just let her know um, today it was uh, 50 something degrees, so it's very cool down here still in Charleston. You know, we get our little moments, but the temperature, and especially at night, it, it drops back down to the 40s. So a lot of my babies still wearing winter clothes or long sleeve. But I just wanted to show Willow with this outfit. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching.